All right, hello guys, this is Geeky the Rooster, and I'm back with more Tech It. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you um, how to build this monstrosity. Uh, this is part of the uh, the Jaffa Cake Let's Build, and um, this is how we're going to get our milk, which is uh, which is great. Let me just turn this off because it's getting a little bit laggy already. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna be building one of these, but uh, right here I have three because for um, for uh, for cakes it uh, it takes uh, three three milk buckets um, in the crafting table to make. So this is three times the output um, to be making one cake. We're we're gonna be making the big cakes and the small cakes. Don't worry, or the well, cookies and cakes. Don't worry. Um, but uh, I'm gonna be starting off with the big cakes. So. Uh, Let's just make it over here, and, uh, let's put a, let's get these, uh, here. Oh, I'm gonna need a new screwdriver. There we are. And, uh, alright, so, let's put my condenser down, like so, and I'm gonna need a bucket. Right there. And I'm gonna put one block of diamond in there because that's about how much EMC you need to uh, to fill this whole thing up with buckets. Uh, now I'm gonna put down my uh, filters and I'm gonna take the screwdriver and I'm gonna make the small hole face out on all of these like so and then I'm gonna put down um, Let's see, what should we do next? Uh, Alright, um, wait, these have... Okay. Alright, so. I'm gonna grab... Four buckets. Like so. Like so. Boom. Boom. Alright, now I'm gonna take... Uh, I'm gonna take... I don't need that yet. All right, this, and I'm gonna take it out there and out across all of these. And then I'm going to put cover underneath that. Whoop, shift, 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 and shift. All right, so now I'm gonna bring this up, up, um, wow, I'm, I'm failing at this already. Uh, I thought I could remember a lot of it, but I, I really can't. Alright, so, let's see, let's build uh, this up here, bring it up, like so, like so, like so, and like so. These have milk buckets in them, if I remember correctly. Yep, these ones have milk buckets, sorry. So you're going to need some milk buckets to start off with. Um, sort. Uh, oh. hmm. Why does milk not... Milk should say milk bucket, not just milk. Just my opinion. <laughs> Alright, and like that. Now I'm gonna take my deployers and I'm gonna put them in like that. Oh, nice. Alright, and I'm gonna do save one. And alright. So now I uh now what you're gonna need is uh whole lot of buckets. Let me just dump all this stuff over here. Uh. Ah. Oh, oh, I have magnet mode on. Whoops. That would explain a lot. Alright, so what, uh, let me just explain how this works real quick. Um, the, uh, the cow in the top slot of, um, I can just throw that out too. The cow in the top slot of this whole machine um, gets four deployers pumped. Am I? I'm not taking it back. Am I? No. Gets uh, has four deployers um, next to it, and they all have empty buckets that are getting pumped into them. And uh, so the deployer takes those empty buckets and uh, uses it on the cow, and um, it then. Uh, it uses it on the cow, and then it turns into a milk bucket, and then it, that milk bucket gets pumped back through the system into the condenser at the end. So, um, it seems 
complicated to those that aren't familiar with um, red power, and uh, it, it does seem like that, but um, uh, it's really not. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm putting eight in each slot because uh, you need at least one slot open in order to um, in order to uh, have the milk buckets getting pumped in in the first place. You don't actually need eight. Um, but I think it just, uh, it just works best with eight. Um, it can be any, any number, really, but, uh, you have to have it start off right. So, eight is, is a good number to start off with. So, uh, yeah. So that's, that's it for that. So, alright. So now we're gonna take, uh, here, let's load one. There we go. Um, we're gonna take nomadic tubing, which is, uh, brass and, uh, glass in the middle. The, uh, the redstone tube is... The pneumatic tube with a piece of redstone next to it, in case you're running. That's what that stuff is. So, what we have here is we take this out, and like so, like this. And uh, why I'm bringing it out one more is because I don't want uh, I don't want this to get pumped into there. That's that's not what we want. Um, so yeah, you do have to bring it out one more than you'd you'd hope. Uh, this is a this is actually quite a small machine for something that creates so much EMC. It creates a lot more EMC than uh, than a blaze rod generator. Uh, but well, actually, I wouldn't say that. Um, but I I would say that it does create uh, a good amount of EMC comparable to um, to a condenser setup with uh, Mark III uh, relays and collectors, um, which is which is great. Um, yeah, I think it's really good for the low amount of EMC that it costs to make it. Um, that's that's the real benefit. So um, now what we're gonna do is um, here um, dirt. No, I want. Well, let me. Ah, whatever. I can use the philosopher's stone. Um, and I go like that, like that, and like that. Whoop. All right. And okay, so. Get my philosopher's stone. First, let's change that whoop, by shifting and clicking. Let's change that to cobblestone. Then let's get out our eggs. I really doubt that I'm gonna get it first try. Now, without spawning, oh wait, I need a, I need a, a floor. So place block there. I'm gonna change that to cobblestone as well. And uh, if without spawning a cow in, it's really hard to trap one and bring it over. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get eggs whole bunch of them until you can spawn oh, a chicken um, and then what you do with that chicken is you can change it with the uh... <laughs> what you can do with that chicken is you can change it with the uh, philosopher's stone by pressing R and you have a fuel source Then you can change any animal or any uh, mob into um, into something else the only mob that doesn't work however is uh, chicks so baby chickens do not work so you're going to have to wait a little bit um, for that baby chicken to grow. And you're going to have to cage it all the way because uh, it can fly away. So let me just get... Uh, actually, I have test subjects back here, if I believe. Yep, I have uh, trapped a couple guys. And so I'm going to press R. You have to be quite a distance away. If you're close, it won't work. Here, let me watch. You can see a purple ball shoot out. Um, it's not working, but if you stand a little bit farther away then it's changing um, into different animals. And as you can see, I'm losing quite a bit of glowstone. Every time I uh, every time I use that, it loses more glowstone. So uh, yeah, that's how that works. But right now I'm just gonna spawn one in. Uh, whoop, no, uh, cow, there we go, and it's raining. As every video, as every video of mine has, wouldn't be complete without rain. So, um, yeah, it's looking good so far. So now what we need is, um, we just need to uh, bring bring this piping out. So I'm going to take my cover back, and I'm going to take um, that back, and this is nomadic. I want redstone. All right. So, uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to put one there. Whoop. There. I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to take this out um, like this, and I'm going to put a condenser right there. Now, the reason I can't bring it out this way is because then it will get pumped into there. Like, if I put if 
I put that there, then it would uh, it would connect that one and that one, and that's that's not what we want. So uh, yeah, you just put a couple of covers down, make sure that it doesn't connect that, and yeah, you put it there. We put a block of diamond there. So um, now we're almost complete, except what we need now is we need uh, our timer. So uh, let's see, do I have a timer in my inventory? I don't see one. Okay, timer. Um, and we're gonna need. Oh, I have jacketed wiring, and I have red outlet. Okay, so like this. Whoop, wait, um, jacketed cable. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take jacketed cable and we're gonna put it on this side. Whoop. I think this side. Are we sure we want that? All right. Yeah. Sure. Let's have that, and we're going to put it on the opposite side, the diagonal side. And, um, I, I understand everything about this design, except, um, except why there's, why there's jacketed cable, whoop, well, I guess that destroys faster than I thought it would, why there's jacketed cabling here. Because I looked up everything, um, I saw this design, and I was like, this is great, I'll modify it a little, a little and I'll, uh, I'll use it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I understand everything. It's pretty simple. I mean, these get pumped up um, through here, and uh, well, uh, these uh, these filters. Let me just explain the whole thing real quick. Wait, after after I finish. So, um, what the purpose of jacketed wiring is, according to the wiki, which is where I got my get all my information, because I'm a I don't understand too much about red power. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, lever. Should put down my lever first. All right. Um. Uh, jacketed wire, the only purpose of it is, is to connect machines to, um, to, uh, red alloy wire. So, uh, that's, it's just, just, see, it's, it's connected to the red alloy wire, and it goes out here to our timer. Whoop. All right. So, we're going to want to set our timer to, um, <laughs> there, uh, 400, uh, milliseconds, I don't know, 0.4 seconds, um, that's, that's, that's what you want to set it, uh, it doesn't actually matter, um, it, it really doesn't, because, uh, I've tested it, and it just doesn't seem to, to be any different for any of them, really, but, um, but I just, I, I don't know the long-term effects, I only know, like, the short-term effects, like, it's pretty obvious if something just stops pumping out milk, because it's, it's too busy, like, having the milk being condensed in the condenser and, and stuff like that. So, um, it's pretty obvious when that happens, but I haven't really noticed any short-term effects. But in the long run, I'm, I'm going to trust other YouTubers' tutorials to, uh, to get me with the right amount of, amount of time for my timer. So, I'm going to turn this on, and then I'm going to explain how this whole thing works. So, as you can see, um... <laughs> So, the filters are pumping out uh, buckets, empty buckets, out of the condenser. And um, they're getting pumped into these deployers. And the deployer is taking them in, and it is um, taking milk from this cow that can be milked infinitely amount of times. Um, we're all sorry for you, cow. I mean, that's that can't be pleasant. So, what after this... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, after this deployer um, is done milking the the cow, it uh, goes down into this filter because this filter only takes out milk buckets, hence the milk bucket in these filters. So if you put an empty bucket in here, then it won't take the empty bucket and put it back down there. It'll only take out milk buckets. So this gets pumped into here, gets milk, goes down to this, and it goes down into this. Now, how the redstone and the uh, pneumatic tubing works is they go, um, it's kind of like an overflow system uh, in and of itself because um, it goes, all of the, these milk buckets will be pumped into here. But once this whole thing is filled up, um, it will no longer, it will no longer uh, pump into there and it'll pump into here. So as you can see, it kind of comes in short bursts, um, three fours, maybe a stray one every once in a while, but, uh, yeah, usually it, um, usually it comes in packs. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, 
the reason why this isn't uh, this is pneumatic tubing and this isn't redstone tubing is because right here we don't want a signal going. Um, we don't want uh, too much or not enough. Um, we don't want uh, this uh, this this timer to affect the the tubing here. So um, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, comment, rate, subscribe for more content, and uh, peace, guys.